Mm, good morning. So, <clears throat> don't have a voice, so I guess I won't be vlogging so much, but um, it's around 8 a.m. and I'm looking for something for lunch. Um, yesterday I got something in front of the beach, uh, but now I'm going to the streets. I just want to show you the streets of Port Barton. I'm at I'm inside Elsa's cottage compound, so just going out. They have a small garden. Here's the gate at Elsa's, and just outside it is a, it's a nice res, um, restaurant. It's called Nabuti. I had my lunch there the other day. This is this is what a typical road in the small provinces here in the Philippines would look like. And there's a small store there called that Sari Sari store. They sell almost anything. Um, the roads here are not yet uh, constructed, so it's just uh, well a dirt road. So so it's not yet developed, which is actually nice. It's just simple. So despite the resorts and hotels, you still still see the typical Filipino life. Okay, there's an, oh, there's a construction going on here. Here's a hotel. Well, not really a hotel, like a, an inn. Chickens. This is where we first stayed at Ayats, but the cats and dogs are really noisy at night. It's a tricycle. Um, they look bigger here in Palawan as compared to those in Manila. So continue. So I'm having my breakfast at Bamboo Bamboo House. Oh, this one is a more constructed road. But just this side. And that area is going to the beach. Going to the Bamboo House for breakfast. This is Bamboo House and they have a nice uh, Nipa hut like tables here so I'll stay here in Kubo 3 Sorry my voice isn't so, is so bad so This is their menu Actually it's kind of expensive here for a small province mm, So first I'm having a hot Calamansi juice with honey. So calamansi is a local lime. It's a small one. And I need it because I don't have a voice as you can see, as you can hear me. I mean, uh, but it's my fault because I haven't been sleeping because of uh, going out at night. But this is really good if you have a sore throat if, or if you don't feel good. Yeah. Cheers. Yum, 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 yum. Mango pancake. So I'm out of the restaurant and right outside you'll see uh, some information on transportation. And I'm going by the beach, not the road. Looks like a new restaurant. Uh, this place is um, developing and it wouldn't be like what it is now, like maybe in a few years, so. It's the Coast Guard area. It's the area to the beach. So if you want to 
go island hopping you just have to come here and uh, it's around 1200 and those are the island hoppers <laughs> i don't know if that's right word but it's the book tree this is part part in town Unlike in Lido, there's still a uh, few tourists here, a few world boat tours. But they seem to be copying what El Nido is doing, so they have tour A, B, C, D. But uh, right now they're not so strict, so sometimes um, if the guests request that we want to go to this island, they're kind of, uh, they're a bit flexible. Uh, now, uh, these are the restaurants on beach front, the dogs. And this is where I'm staying. I guess I just, I'll just go back to the cottage just to change. Because I just got breakfast. Um, I don't know what to do today. Maybe I'll just lounge by the beach. But I'm really feeling a bit tired from um, traveling non-stop. And partying as well. 